Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Kicks. In this video, I will discuss with you a very interesting scenario based question based on networking days, which is being asked in the Power BI interviews. So, you should definitely know how to answer it correctly. Okay, now let me tell you that scenario. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos, which will be very helpful for all of you. Okay. So let's see the scenario given by the interviewer. So what they will say that that you have two dates. For example, uh, let me show you the data view tab. So suppose they will say you have two dates. One is the order date and the other one is the deliver date. So somebody has ordered something and the, this is the date on which it is deliver, delivered. Okay. So in this way, we have two dates of column. Now that interview will ask you, how will you give me the total number of business days between these two dates okay between these two dates okay for example if i take the latest one so latest one is uh, this one only so 2nd july 2022 is the order date and 10th july 2022 is the deliver date okay so how many business days or working days are there between these two dates okay so how will you calculate this or how will you write the dax code for this Okay, so for that, how will you answer this question? Okay, so for that, what we will do, we will create a measure and let's see how we can create that measure. So I will name this as uh, net working days. Okay, and I will create some variables here. You will see why I am creating this. Uh, for example, I will create uh, where a equal to selected value. I will make use of selected value here and give me, I will store one date value here. And what will be the date value? It will be order date. Okay. So this is the order date. Close the bracket. Create another variable. Okay. B equal to again use the selected value. Okay. And in this use the deliver date column okay so these are the two dates which we have selected okay now again a variable c which will store or calculate basically the networking days between these two dates so recently uh, a new dax function has been announced which is known as networking days okay so that you can use it here okay other than that, we can we also have another solution for that. But since we have that column, we have that function now. So why not to use that directly? So I will use that function here, net work days. As you can see here, it has appeared net work days. Okay. So it says it returns the number of whole work days between the two dates, including using the parameters to indicate which and how many days are weekend days. Okay. So uh, if you want a separate video for net work days, please comment down. Okay. I will make a video for net work days uh, separate with all the details there but for this video we will take the first date as uh, a and the second date as b right because we have to calculate the network days between these two dates okay now return this variable okay c so now we have created this uh, measure and let's see what does the result comes out okay so i will go to the report view tab and pull my order date okay let me zoom in this okay so this is this is my order date and now i will be having my deliver date so let me remove this click this and deliver date Okay, so now we can move or we can uh, use this measure here and see what does it come out. So for example, this is 2nd July and this is 10th July. So how many working days should be there between these two? So it is coming out to be 5. So now let us verify this measure if it is correct or not. Okay, so what it has done, it has selected this value from order date. It has selected this value from deliver date and calculated the difference or calculated the working days between these two using the network days function okay so let me take you to the calendar so 
second july is saturday and 10th july is sunday so between these how many working days are there 5 6 7 8 9 okay so five working days are there so that means the value that is coming here is it is correct so in this way you have to answer this question okay you can make use of this network days latest function and this function is available in the latest update so if you have to update your uh, power by desktop to see this function okay so this is what i wanted to share with you today so i hope you are clear with the explanation and if you like it please share it with your colleagues and friends whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you